Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, guys. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to solve the second last lab from CSRF vulnerability module. And in this lab, we are going to see CSRF where refer validation depends on the header being present. Uh, this is the lab description. So this lab's email change functionality is vulnerable to CSRF. It attempts to block cross domain, not cross site. Keep in mind, not cross site. Here it's a specified cross domain. So it attempts to block cross domain request, but has an insecure fallback. And we will see that insecure fallback in a minute. To solve the lab, use your exploit server to host the HTML page that uses a CSRF attack to change the viewer's email address. And we are given with a valid credential. So there is a hint which saying that the email address you register uh, must be unique. Okay. So here we can click to access the lab which I already accessed here. I'm going to enable the burp proxy on my browser and let's go. So I'm directly going to my account page for login. So you can see this is our login request and here I'm going to try to log in. Don't save. Okay. And directly I'm going to just change the email address. So wiener2 at cybersec.radar and let's update the email and then we will analyze the request. Okay. So let's go back to the burp proxy and here I'm going to see it in the descending order. So most current uh, or most recent request we see above here. So this is the change email functionality request and I'm going to send it to the repeater and we will analyze it here. So you can see once we try to access this endpoint for changing our email, this is our session cookie. Interesting part here, there is no CSRF token or there is no CSRF cookie. So no protection is being applied here. And once you see the request, two things to be noticed here. One is origin and the second one is refer. You will see reference header at that moment once uh, you are following a link. Okay. Or once you are following uh, a URL. Okay. And this is added by the uh, browser automatically. So uh, you can see that the referer is equal to the same domain, not the cross domain. Okay. So same domain, there is nothing change. Okay. And the origin is also the same. The cookie will not be put in the request if it's uh, going to cross domain. Uh, what I'm going to do here is come back, go to the exploit server and we are going to create the very basic exploit form action is equal to, we will type the URL letter, but here the method is post and then we need to close the form tag and within this uh, form tag, we will specify one input tag and within the input tag, the type of this is going to be hidden and name is equal to email because we see in the post request, there is only one post body uh, parameter, which is email and the value of this is going to be test at cybersec.radar fine and then we need to add here one script tag we need to close this script tag and within this script tags we need to submit this form so our document dot forms because we have only one form so index is zero and submit it fine and now let's try to store it and uh, before view exploit sorry i need, forgot to copy this url so copy the url from here and paste it here now again we need to store it and first we will try this exploit to ourselves so view exploit and once we view exploit you will see here 
this is the request for a, once we try to access the exploit server and because the exploit server is sending our uh, request to change the email so you can see this request is interesting because once we try to change the email the response is saying invalid referrer header you can see here invalid referrer header why so because because if you see the origin and the referrer header they both present cross domain not same like this one and in the cross domain it's not going to send the cookie that means the protection is validated uh, through the referrer header so what we can do let's send this request to the repeater go to the repeater and instead of this referrer header and origin if we delete both of these and try to send the request again you can see 302 found and location is this that means the email is now changed so if i refresh or click on my account you can see the email it's changed fine so that is perfect now we have everything to test or to build our exploit more perfectly so here we can do few things because you can see in the exploit server uh, the file path is different uh, section header section is different so here we can specify the referrer header so r e f e r r e r referrer policy is gonna be um, no referrer okay so this is going to avoid the referrer header within the request and we can also do it in another way by adding here um, head tags head and we need to close this tag head and in between that we can define here meta tag and let's say name is equal to uh, sorry refer uh, r e f e r r e r okay and we can say content is um, is equal to never okay never or we can try it as no refer because uh, sometimes it have different uh, content no refer something like this okay so you can try both of these a refer or uh, its value is going to be no refer or never so check each of these and then we can form here body section okay but because this is already the body section so we are not going to make it here because we have separate head section so within the head section we can define this fine now let's try again because once we put the reference policy is no refer so once we redirect it from the exploit from the exploit server to the genuine uh, domain for the changing email functionality at that instant it will not put the referrer header within the uh, request fine so let's try it first to ourselves store and view exploit back here go to the proxy so you can see this is our exploit server request and this is the change email and if you see the request you will find that there is no referrer header is in the in this request fine change our email also so if we come back here from test 2 let's try one more time test 2 oh come on okay let's see one more time uh, instead of test 2 let's try test 3 store it and view exploit back to the burp suite this is exploit request and then we from the exploit server we directed to this change email functionality origin is null there is no referrer header 
and email gets changed we come back here you can see test 3 fine now it's time to deliver this exploit to the victim and here i'm gonna say hacked at cybersec.radar store it and deliver the exploit to the victim And as you can see, congratulations, the lab is solved. Fine, so this is the whole thing. This lab is although pretty easy. And that's it for this lab. If you like the content, please like, subscribe and share. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.